God gave. God gave its relation between the southern slope of the downright mountains, the Gulen Mountains, Nom Gulen, in the southwest and the Tabang Mountain, Nom Tabang, near Tabang Minche, in the east. Most parts of the hilly ground are covered by jungle, but most of the trees set their leaves seasonally. The city of Koke was on the most important strategic route at the Khmer Empire. Coming from Angkor and Bang Mali to Koke, this road led to Prasad River here and from there to Phi Mai in Thailand and Wat Phu in Laos. The region of Koke is relatively dry. Numerous water tanks and canals were built during the 9th and the 10th century to ensure the water supply. These days, water is pumped up from the tap of the 30 and 40 barrels. The history of treasures, 19th century. In the second part of the 19th century, French adventurers ran the force around the side of Coquet while hunting them. They broke work of the structures in the area back to France. The French researcher Lunette de Lyon Quirre and Etienne Armoni came to Coquet. They saw the main temple, Camblès, Brassat Tom, Brassat Brang, the Paray, and the group of Linga shrines. They also discovered a few succession of the Chossi with the breadth of more than a marrow. They supposed that a road once connected to Koke with Wat Phu, today southern of Laos. Around 1880, members of a French expedition arrived at Koke and looted numerous statues and reliefs. These pieces are now in the Musée Gourmet in Paris. 20th century at the beginning of 20th century, art historians realized that a full black style was developed at Koke. Joko Edes concluded from inscription that Koke was capital of the Khmer Empire, year 928 to year 944 AD, under the reign of Jayavaman IV and his follower Hashavaman II. In the 1930s, again French researchers came to Koke. They discovered numerous monuments and counted 50 sanctuaries in the area of 35 square kilometers. Henry Parmentier made a number of drawings. After an interruption because of the reign of terror of the Khmer Rouge, researchers at the Koke continued by Apsara, French, Japanese, and Australian scientists. In 21st century, at the beginning of the 21st century, scientists concluded that not all of the monuments could have been built in the short term. When Gorke was capital of the Khmer Empire, year 928 to 944 AD, a new era started at Gorke as photographs made by satellites were annualized. In 2004, the protected area was extended to 81 square kilometers. For five years, Japanese researchers explored and described 184 monuments, including documenting their exact location. The Australian researcher Damian Evan and his team were able to verify Lachon Quirrell's theory that there once was a Khmer route between Koke and Wat Phu, probably the most important strategic growth of the Khmer Empire. Excavation in the December 2015 by Cambodian and international teams near Prasatom and the Rahan in the Anjan urban core area of Koke have few radio carbon days that clearly play significant habitation and activity beginning as early as the 7th to 8th century CE, often noted as the Jangla period of historians. Some pottery tubs may date to the earlier Funan period. Over 24,000 artifacts and eco facts were recovered from the three test sites. Artifacts 
are mostly pottery fragments with local and exotic tops representing over 1,000 years of site used throughout the occupational circuits. Exotic pottery tops include Chinese stoneware and glazeware from the Songyuan period. Other exotic pottery include Thai and Vietnamese stoneware that generally date to the late uncle and post uncle periods. Possible Persian pottery dated to the 9th century has been noted as well. Thus, Gorge has been clinged to the long distance value chains for considerable time span. Although the marriage may have been significantly repurposed during the 10th century construction boom heyday of Jayavaman IV, site use and activities continue well beyond the 10th century. Intensity of the activities and density of the occupation may have oscillated over time in relation to political and socio-economic factors. Natural and human resource management variables, as well as environmental phenomena, may have also played significant roles related to trends in popularity, population, and productivity. The project is part of the Nalanda Sriwijaya Center, a field school led by the Dr. Dr. Dikali Latinis and the Dr. E. Darit Asara National Authority, with further support from the National Authority for Privilege.